Hi, I'm Dr. Bhavna Joshi, and uh, I will be taking the subject childhood and growing up. Uh, in this subject today, we will be studying about the equity issues and inclusion, EFA, SSA, and RMSA. This topic is in your unit four of childhood and growing up, BA 101. Now, before starting, it is very important to know what exactly is the word equity and inclusion means. The equity is the quality of being fair and impartial. That means equity means that every child has the right to get education, irrespective of the fact that from which background the child is coming from. So it is very important to implement uh, this, um, uh, this to ensure that every child is uh, educated. Now the word inclusion is mean it means the responding to the diversities of the diversity of need of the learner, and um, it involves you know changing uh, change in the content, the approach, the structure, the strategies. Uh, which are driven for common vision that all children should cover irrespective of the fact that uh, every child is unique and has diverse learning needs also. So this is equity and inclusion. Now EFA, the full form of EFA is education for all. Now education for all is the global movement which was led by UNESCO, United Nations uh, Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization. It its main aiming to uh, you know may aiming to meet the learning needs of all the children youth and adults by 2050 now unesco has been mandated to lead the movement and coordinate the international effort to reach education for all in the country so there, these are the, there are specific goals of EFA, Education for All. Now, now, the first goal is expanding and improving the comprehensive early childhood care and uh, education. So, according to EFA, it is very important to expand and improve the care and education which we are giving, giving to the, uh, you know, disadvantaged and vulnerable children. Goal number two is ensuring that by 2015, all children and uh, the particular emphasis on the uh, girls uh, who are coming, uh, you know, and children who are coming from belonging to different uh, ethnic minorities have the access of this free and compulsory primary education of good quality. Then uh, goal number three is uh, ensuring that the learning need of all young pe uh, people, that is the children and the adult are met uh, through appropriate learning and life skill programs. Goal number four is achieving a 50% improvement in level of adult literacy. It also mentioned EFA doesn't only uh, care about the children, but also about the adult literacy. So 50% improvement in the level of adult literacy by 2015 and that too especially for the women uh, and the adults who have the basic uh, education and want to continue the education. Then goal number five is eliminating gender disparities in primary and secondary education by 2015 and achieving gender equality in education by 2015. They focused, uh, their, their, their focus was in elimination of any kind of gender inequality related to education. Then goal number six is improving all aspects of quality of education and ensuring excellence uh, and providing the quality education to the children, especially in literacy, numeracy and essential life skills. Now strategic uh, approaches to EFA. Now basically uh, there are four, uh, you know, the strategic approaches uh, consist of four E's. Now what are the four E's? The first E is expansion. Now here expansion is the strategy, uh, here it means expansion word in EFA means that the strategy is focused on making educational facilities and learning opportunities available to uh, all the children uh, 
uh, young people and adult that means uh, the ch this uh, education services should expand the learning opportunities should expand then there has to be equity and inclusion equity and inclusion as we have discussed uh, before that equality of uh, giving education and uh, including every child child from any diverse background uh, so any in any kind of discrimination is not entertained here so it is include equity and inclusion that is uh, bridging the gender and social category gap in participation in the education next is the excellence excellence here word means providing quality education relevant education to all the young and uh, children uh, uh, and achieving the learning outcomes also and the last e is the employability it is very important that if we are providing the education to the child the child should get that employment also the out of that uh, education so high priority is accorded to the task of enhancing employability of the product of the education system so um, various vocational courses and education uh, uh, should be provided in the secondary uh, education more job relevant skills uh, training should be given in these schools so these were the four e strategic approaches of the efa education for all next comes the ssa that is the sarv saksha shiksha abhiyan sarv shiksha abhiyan um, basically means universalization of primary education it means that uh, it uh, this comes in operation in 2000 2001 with the aim of uh, that uh, the overall goal of sarv shiksha abhiyan ar all children in school bridge all uh, you know it caters to all the children in school bridge um, uh, gender uh, caters to all children in school with respect to the education then uh, uh, bridge all gender and social category gaps uh, in primary and upper primary stages universal retention uh, is given in priority because it has been seen that after a uh, few classes after basically like for after primary that the uh, that the child leaves the school and doesn't want to continue studies so retention is very low so universal retention elementary education of satisfactory quality uh, to be provided so basically you can say that uh, sarv shiksha abhiyan is the primary vehicle for implementing the uh, aims and objective of rt that is the right to education to every child then uh, uh, the key, uh, key programmatic thrust under ssa uh, are ensuring the availability of primary schools within 1 km of the uh, habitation uh, of the child the residence of the child and for upper primary it is within 3 km then provision of separate uh, toilets for girls should be there then early uh, childhood care and education centers uh, in the school or near the school then uh, 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 children uh, development uh, services uh, sorry uh, it has to be uh, integrated Ch children uh, development services icds schemes uh, to free girl uh, free girls for sibling care and uh, responsibilities then uh, special uh, training for mainstreaming out of uh, school girls who have left the school then teacher sensitization programs uh, uh, is given importance in ssa so that uh, to promote the equitable uh, learning opportunities for girls then gender sensitive tra teacher training material you know including uh, textbooks that means uh, till now what used to happen is usually every person in the in the textbook if you saw that uh, the person is represented with the word he that means a male so uh, gender sensitive teacher learning material that is including textbooks incentive community mobilization efforts um, uh, and then innovation funds uh, should be provided for need based intervention in ensuring girl attendance and retention which was given major priority in ssa 
देन कम्स द आर एम एस ए दैट इज द राष्ट्रीय माध्यमिक शिक्षा अभियान नाउ दिस इज द सेंट्रली स्पॉन्सर्ड स्कीम विच वॉज लॉन्च इन मार्च टू टू थाउजेंड नाइन and its main aim was to uh, you know have good quality uh, secondary education accessible and affordable uh, to the age group of 14 to 15 years uh, then uh, because uh, free and compulsory education is given till the 14 years of age then after that this uh, started uh, this uh, uh, scheme was initiated rashtriya madhyamik shiksha abhiyan to give the quality education in the secondary uh, with respect to secondary education also then uh, this was uh, basically uh, focus uh, the enrollment in the class 9th and 10th uh, of secondary school uh, within a reasonable distance of every inhabitation to enable universal access to the um, uh, secondary education by 2017 and universal retention by 2020 that means every child uh, who is do, who is in the secondary education who is learning in edu the secondary education should be retained then improving the quality of education uh, which is very important uh, making all school conform to the prescribed norms and removing all type of gender and uh, socio economic and disability barriers now the important facilities which were uh, provided in the rmsa additional classrooms laboratories uh, libraries art uh, room toilet blocks drinking water provision residential hotel, uh, hostels for uh, teachers in remote areas then appointment of additional teachers uh, to reduce the uh, teacher and uh, student ratio that is 30 to uh, 30 is to 1 focus on science maths english education in service training of the teachers science laboratories ict enabled education curriculum reform uh, teaching learning reforms then special focus on uh, micro planning preference to ashram schools for upgradation preference to areas with concentration of scst and minority for opening of schools then uh, special in, uh, enrollment drive for weaker sections more female uh, teachers in the school and separate uh, uh, toilet blocks for uh, girls i hope you all understood uh, about uh, efa that is education for all and uh, the second one is ssa sarv shiksha abhiyan and the last one is rmsa rashtriya madhyamik shiksha abhiyan thank you very much